cytokinin is another plant hormone and cytokinin works alongside auxin to help promote cell growth and differentiation. Now, we know that auxin, it's promoting the cell growth, but cytokinin, what it's doing is that it's promoting cytokinesis, which is the part of cell growth. Now, after uh, mitosis and meiosis have occurred and we see the replication of DNA in both cells, we need those cell, that cell to split in half. So we need that cytoplasm to split in half. And that splitting process is known as cytokinesis. And cytokinesis occurs after mitosis and meiosis. Now, cytokinin is the hormone that is promoting cytokinesis. So what happens is that once we see the replication of DNA and we get those two cells, we want the cytoplasm to split in half. That is done so via cytokinesis and cytokinin, the hormone, is promoting that splitting. Now, what would happen if we had lots of auxin, but we didn't have cytokinin? Well, if we had a lot of auxin and auxin promotes growth, we would see the cell growing and growing and growing, but there would be no splitting. So we wouldn't get two cells. So auxin requires cytokinin for splitting. Now, if we didn't have auxin, but we had lots of cytokinin, what would happen then? Well, if we don't have auxin, nothing is growing. And if we're not growing anything, we can't split anything. So cytokinin and auxin are both required for the growth and splitting, which promotes cell growth and differentiation. Now, cytokinin is produced in cells that are actively growing. And that makes sense because wherever a plant is growing, it will need both cytokinin and auxin to grow. So cytokinin is found in the shoots and it is also found in the roots because a plant is not only growing up in the shoots, but it is also growing below the ground in the roots. Um, a plants, uh, I mean, cytokinin also reduces plant senescence, and plant senescence is known as aging or the gradual degeneration of a plant. So essentially, if we are producing cytokinin and that cytokinin is actively producing more and more cells, we are reducing the effects of cell death, aging, and the degeneration process because we are actively producing more cells. Now, cytokinin also promotes lateral growth. Now, lateral growth is growing this way. Now, in a plant, we have a axillary bud and we have an apical bud. So the axillary buds are, this is an example of an axillary bud. These are axillary buds. The apical bud is the bud at the very top. So this bud right over here, this is the apical bud. The apical bud is a sugar sink that produces auxins. And we know that auxins, they are produced in the shoot apical meristem. The shoot apical meristem is the top, the tip of the plant. So at the shoot apical meristem, we see the apical bud, which is a sugar sink uh, that also produces auxins. Now, as the auxins move, they move unidirectionally from top to bottom. As they move from top to bottom, they produce strigolactones. So they produce strigolactones. And these strigolactones prevent lateral bud growth. So the buds are unable to grow laterally because of the auxin moving down and promoting those, producing those strigolactones. Now what cytokinin does is that cytokinin reduces the effect of the strigolactones. So the cytokinin, if it's reducing the effect of the strigolactones, this allows lateral bud growth, okay? So cytokinin is essentially working in the, in the opposite direction. It's promoting the lateral growth. And this is an example of what we would see with a plant that has an apical bud, whereas if it didn't have an apical bud. 
So in its apical bud, we see that the buds are not able to grow laterally because the apical bud exerts dominance. Whereas when we remove the apical bud, so we removed this apical bud right over here, we are able to see the buds to grow laterally because now the sugar, first the sugar is primarily over here, but now the sugar is able to go to the rest of the buds and the buds are able to grow laterally. So we would also see this uh, effect when the, when the cytokinin is working in reverse to the strigolactones. And this is uh, essentially the, the purpose of the hormone cytokinin. It promotes growth and differentiation and it works alongside auxin. It reduces, uh, reduces plant senescence uh, it, and it promotes lateral growth because it works in the opposite direction as, cytol as strigolactones.